kind of feminine so, products the feminine products they let them order is lipstick eyeshadow stuff like that panties bra panties you know, and panties. a bra panties yeah. why why does a man with a dick and balls need panties i guess they want to feel feminine but it's crazy though because these same uh trans in the prison or whatever they uh try not to say like, trans they flip the script they flip the script, and when there's like a woman around, they'll flip the script and they'll snap out on a woman and like get violent towards her, where so they won't get violent towards another man. Wow. And they'll get violent towards a woman because they feel like they are a woman. I, I, it's weird. You, you have know? one minute left. And it, no, it's also, it's a show of dominance, Daryl, because with men, that's who they're trying to appease. So they're trying to be like, oh, look how like demure and feminine we are but then it's like girls they're not trying to sit there and perform for women a lot of this is performing like for the men and establishing dominance too because it's yeah. like yeah, girls know the difference the woman. they're trying to argue and fight with the woman it's but. crazy but i love you i gotta go it's gonna hang up on me i love you I i'll you. give you some more uh when we call when we talk again all right i love you i love you to death i'm gonna call you again i'm gonna sneak on this show Oh, Daryl, I love you. Beautiful, big-ass head. I miss, I miss you. you. I miss you, nigga. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. I'm going to go check my messages and see if I got something. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, quick go do that. Let me... love, love you. Goodbye. Anyway, so you were saying that they have their own unit, but they come out to the yard. Yeah, they have their own unit, but they still interact. They still do programs with people, you know, religious services, stuff like that. And then you were saying, and I was asking you, I was saying if um, if it's a big problem with people picking on them. No, no, no. It's a really mature crowd of prison. No one likes picking on them or nothing like that. It's not like that. It's just people just don't deal with them. They try to ignore them at all costs. Well, and we, and I like you had explained to me sort of the difference between jail and prison, where jail's a little bit more chaotic because people are coming and going, and no, you know, no one's there for any long term period. And that's another rule of all of that kind of stuff. You men don't even fight, you know, uh, we call them punks. You don't, you don't fight punks upstate, you don't play with boys upstate because it's going to be a lose lose situation if you fight someone that's gay or you fight someone that's uh, the trans or whatever, you, you're losing. It's going to look like a lover's quarrel. And people that don't know what's going on, they're going to be looking out from the outside, looking in, they're going to be like, yeah, they're just fighting about something. I don't know, man. Your man's been over there fighting. This I don't know, man. Highly questionable now. So what the hell are they fighting over? You know yeah, I mean? but they can lock in. Yeah, but, but people don't do that. People, like, Literally try not to fight them at all costs, try not to argue with them, try not to have so, them not to buy or buy. Like, in your opinion, are they safe? Like they have their own unit, right? Yeah, like Yeah, they're very safe. They're very safe. People don't deal with them. Like people like the only people that deal with them are the females that work here. You know what I 
And you said that they try to get loud with some women, like that they try to, like that they act towards women in a way that you don't see them acting towards other men. Yeah, which is surprising because you would think that if you're big and tough and violent and all that, you would be like that towards the men that you locked up with. But they're not. You know, some of them can be, but most of the time they're not. They always pick like a woman to argue with or fight with. I don't know if it makes them feel like they're a woman. But like who? How do they have access to women? Because women work in a prison. They, they, it's a men's prison, but women work in here. It's all kinds of women that work in here. They got different departments. They got mental health. They got activities. They got a librarian. They got teachers. Right, they got right. They got unit managers. They got correctional officers. They got guards that are women. Right. You know I mean? Some of them are little women. Some of them are 110 pounds, five foot nothing. You know what I mean? Do they, do you know what their, like, medical policy is? Do they uh, provide them, like, hormones? I don't know. I don't know. I can, I'm going to look into that for you, though, but... I'm, they don't give them, like, tampons or anything like that. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I haven't seen it on the store list. Right. Yeah. They definitely give them, like, the accessories, though. They started giving them the accessories. Yeah. So, and that's because they file all this people. Right. And like, do any of like, do they like, how much do they look like women? Do any of them pass? <laughs> None of them look like a woman at all. They're, they're hideous. They're literally they're, they're like a bunch of Freddy Kruegers with makeup on. Yeah, it's freaky. It's, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. You know, on the streets you see some trainees. You'd be like, man, I thought it was a girl. No, there's no way. Well, that's the thing, because everybody, you look at TikTok, and you look at all these examples, and they show the best-looking ones, like, in the world, like, the ones that, like, really pass, and you're like, oh, and then people start to think, oh, well, this is, well, you can't put these people in, you know, with guys. I mean, look, they look exactly like a woman, and people don't realize that's not what these men look like, for the most part, at all. Not these men are, like, big and muscular, dressed and got makeup on and shit, and they're huge, and they lift weights. Out. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's still a man. You know what I mean? Right. It's still a man in a dangerous situation. You know what I mean? So it's even dangerous for, let's say, if, if you know, God forbid, you got like a person that has kids and their kid gets into some trouble and has to go to prison for a little while. You know, it, it's dangerous for that person that never been to prison before that doesn't know anything. Well, and that's the thing that we always say. It's dangerous for anybody. Like, even like, if, okay, even if the issue is, oh, okay, sexual assault, right? Let's, let's take that into account. Well, how is, how is it somebody who's, you know, grew their hair out and goes by she, her, somehow more at risk than like an effeminate, you know, guy, like a smaller, kind of like good looking, young, like weaker guy? It's bad all the way around, but they got stuff in place. They got this thing called PREA. And it's, uh, it's Prison Rape Act. Elimination Act. Exactly. They don't play with that shit. point is that, like, there's other people who are also vulnerable. It's not just because you identify as a woman that suddenly you're at this, like, special risk. Right. You know. Right. Right. Yeah. But, uh, it, it's definitely crazy. Do you ever, have you ever, like, so you've never interacted with any of them? Like, just to know what they're, like, what they're like? Me personally, no. Uh, I just see them. I see them on a, you know, out in the prison yard. They sit in a specific area. And I see them. And I see the guys that sneak over there to try to just whisper something to them. They walk past them and stuff like that. But other than that, I don't talk to them at all. I was, uh, I don't know. I was uh, around some, some really hardcore dudes. That's why I learned how to do time trials. So, they, you know, that's always been part of the upbringing. Being in places like this is I don't care what's going on. You never deal with them. There's no reason for you to ever deal with them. I don't care if you need something to drink or if you need to pass you something that fell on the floor. I, there's no reason for you to deal with them, not unless you're interested. So you've never seen them, like, getting picked on? Like, I mean, you see people getting no. picked on in prison, right? I mean, you've no. seen people... Yeah. You have one minute left. It's more of a friendly type thing. It's not like victimizing. Like people aren't like being serious. The only 
time people are dead serious messing with people is when they find out that they're in here for killing a kid or touching a kid or something like that. Are they at risk for that, though? Yeah, yeah Most... no, nah, they're not messing with them. I'm telling you, they're safe in these prisons. They're not messing with these people. Okay. I love right. you. I love you, too, baby. Thank you. Sunshine, blue sky